A day after the trade deadline, the Baltimore Orioles made a significant addition that electrified their fans and boosted their playoff hopes. Jackson Holiday, the Orioles' highly touted second baseman and the number one pick in the 2022 draft, was recalled from AAA Norfolk for his second stint in the majors. In a spectacular fashion, Holiday connected for a grand slam in the fifth inning, marking his first major league home run and leading the Orioles to a 10-4 victory over the Toronto Blue Jays. Holiday's initial stint in the majors earlier this season was challenging, as he went 2 for 34 at the plate with 18 strikeouts, which led to his return to the minors. However, his performance on Wednesday showcased his resilience and potential. After grounding out in his first two at bats, Holiday launched a 439 foot drive to right field, a hit so powerful that he paused to admire it before beginning his trot around the bases. The Grand Slam, the seventh home run this season to reach Utah Street at Camden Yards, made Holiday the third Orioles player to hit a Grand Slam for his first major league homer and the youngest Oriole to achieve this milestone. As best as I can hit a ball, Holiday said, that's about all I got. The crowd at Camden Yards erupted in applause, and Holiday took a curtain call, waving to the fans from the dugout. His teammates and the crowd's reaction underscored the significance of the moment. I'm really glad he got to have that moment, here at home in Camden Yards, said Baltimore right-hander Grayson Rodriguez. Pretty cool fan reaction, obviously a great reaction in the dugout. Holiday nearly hit another home run later in the game, but his line drive down the left field line was ruled just foul. He continued to contribute defensively as well, starting a double play to end the game in the ninth inning. Holiday's impressive return symbolizes the Orioles' commitment to developing their young talent. Despite the temptation to trade top prospects for established players, the Orioles held on to Holiday, along with catching prospect Samuel Basalo and minor league slugger Kobe Mayo, believing in their future potential. Every time a ranking came out, Holiday, Basalo, and Mayo were ranked higher and higher and higher, general manager Mike Elias said. You got three very young kids that are consensus top 15 prospects in all of baseball. The value on that makes it very hard to find something to trade them for that makes any sense. The Orioles, who lead the AL East but have faced recent struggles, bolstered their roster before the trade deadline by acquiring pitchers Zach Eflin from Tampa Bay and Trevor Rogers from Miami. Both are expected to strengthen the rotation and remain under team control beyond this season. Some of the real crazy big names that people were throwing around didn't get traded at all, Elias said. I think all things considered we got two of the better starting pitchers available this deadline, and also they're controllable beyond this season. This trade deadline marked the first for new owner David Rubenstein, and the Orioles' willingness to take on Eflin's $18 million salary for next year indicates a potential increase in spending. Additionally, Baltimore acquired outfielder Aloy Jimenez from the Chicago White Sox, with the White Sox covering part of his remaining salary, further signaling the Orioles' commitment to improving the team. Holiday, the son of former MLB outfielder Matt Holiday, is currently ranked number one in MLB Pipeline's prospect rankings. His return to the majors was made possible after the Orioles traded infielder Connor Norby to Miami for Rogers and due to injuries to infielders Jorge Mateo and Jordan Westberg.